Hello everyone, so this is Dr. Aditya Gupta. I am currently pursuing my DM in Pediatric Oncology from Ames Delhi. All right, I did my undergraduation and post-graduation again from Ames Delhi. I got an All India rank of 17 in Ames PG 2018. So this is a little bit about my credentials. Apart from this, in the past two, two and a half years on YouTube, I've taken a lot of interviews of toppers as far as NEET PG and INICT is concerned. For those of you who, do, uh, you who don't know about me, uh, this is a strategy video on how do you prepare for NEET PG and INICT together over the next four months. All right. Predominantly for those people who want to prepare mainly for NEET PG, but still want to give a best shot for INICT. If your main goal is INICT, I'll make a separate video on that. All right. Now, if you would have watched any topper interview, in fact, this was a strategy which I introduced two years ago with my with my best friend Rishabh, that the main thing that determines whether you are a topper, a top 100 or a 1000 rank versus someone who's getting a top, you know, getting a 10,000 rank. It's not the difference in what's inside here. The knowledge you might be having is similar. The difference is in revision. The difference is in the last 10 day revision. Why is the last 10 day revision important? If you're preparing for NEEPG, tell me the answer to these three simple questions, which is the enzyme which is deficient in Krabbe disease, which is the electron transfer chain type 4, 3 and type 3. What is the name of that and what is its inhibitor? And tell me the drug of choice for trachea stenosis. Now, I don't know the answer to any of these questions, but I do remember that these three questions are a previous question. So they can be easily be repeated and they have been asked multiple times. But still fully possible, you might have read about these three things. You still would have forgotten them. This is why the last 10 day revision is important. Why? Because in order to ensure you get easy 110, 120 marks in your exam immediately. Remember that every exam consists of 100 easy questions, 60 to 70 medium level questions, and only 20, 30 questions are hard. Our problem is, and our FOMO is that we keep on fo focusing on these 20 hard questions, forgetting that the actual rank will be uh, will be determined by these 100 easy and 60, 70, uh, 60, 70 medium level questions. If you get that last 10 day revision right, what will happen that the easy one liners, the easy questions from memory, and there will be a lot of questions. There will be at least 100 questions like that. If you get the last 10 day revision right, you will get 100 there immediately. And if for the rest, even if you have 50, 40 percent strike rate of your tukkas, you still will be able to score 140, 150 plus correct answers. That will definitely guarantee your top 1k rank as far as NEET is concerned. And as far as INI is concerned, if you get 140, 145, uh, 150 correct uh, answers, you'll get a top 100 rank. Right, as far as INICT is concerned, INICT is slightly tougher exam, right? So this is why the last 10 day revision is important so that everything is on the surface of your memory and you can mark these easy questions that are from memory correct. At the end of the day, you ratta to hi padega. So it's better that you do uh, a proper last 10 day revision so that these easy questions are not marked incorrectly because at the end of the exam, on the exam day, you will get confused between two options and mark them wrong until unless you have done a proper last 10 day revision. Now, this video is meant for those who have at least done their first read and now are confused how to go about revision. So as far as revision is concerned for in order to be able to revise, you have to concise those bulky five, 10,000 pages notes into something which is revisable. All right, you have to make your concise notes. So my timeline for you is that in Mar you have four months, enough time. In March and April, your March and April should be spent in reading those notes which you have done already and concising them. Two months, give two months just to concise your note. Don't fo fo uh, you know, don't focus on key whether you are remembering them or not. You won't remember them, that's perfectly fine. Nobody remembers anything. It's every topper who you think I remembered whenever I was making concise No, no, nahi rehta. nobody remembers it. So don't worry, ke, Are I read all these notes, I've forgotten everything. That's normal, will happen to everyone. We are humans, we are not gods. We don't have, uh, you know, photographic memory like uh, some people might have, but most of us know how to make notes. Most of us are hardworking. Most of us can make those concise notes. So your goal in March and April should be very simple. You read those notes very fast. You don't have to spend time. Are I'm going to try to remember it now. No, it's not to remember, but to make notes. All right. So you read fast the notes. You don't get stuck on a word. Are ye word meko samay nahi aara. Main puri ki puri video fir se dekhu. No, that is what is FOMO is. All right, that doing the same thing again and again, thinking you'll remember it, you won't remember anything. The goal is to make notes, notes which are revisable. All right, so read fast, and at the same point of time, whatever topic you are reading, solve the past five to seven years previous year question. You'll get to know what is more important. Based on this, based on the previous year question, and based on what you have read. Make your own concise notes. You can go retrograde also. Let's say you start reading a topic, start solve the previous question first. 
solve the previous year question first then read your whatever notes you had and from those notes make your own concise notes so from any app first solve the past 5 to 7 year previous year question you can have any app you can even have reflex let's say solve the past 5 7 years question see the notes that you are already having the the pre printed notes that you already have unki fast reading karni hai this is very important do a fast reading don't get stuck on a word you know don't try to memorize it now the goal is to write it down and by that when you write it down it's a slower process but it will stay in your memory longer that is the importance of making notes you have to make your own handwritten notes all right and then make your own concise notes for 19 subjects next two months just dedicate to doing this process and making notes the next two months will be spent on remembering those notes and rectifying those notes but since you would have made them in your own handwritten they would be your own handwritten notes you will be able to revise them you will be able to memorize them and you will be able to revise them in the last 10 days in this particular regards i know a lot of people will be like sir i can't make 19 subject notebooks that is why this book this gem of a book even i was like you that's why this book first aid comes into the picture now first it is a book which is made up of it is essentially pre made concise notes of first and second prof subjects all right so for first aid what you can do that instead of you know going through these fast reading of your notes you can solve previous year question read first aid add points from previous year question and their explanations also remember explanations is important and associated tables are important it's the previous year topics which are repeated not the exact question but it will be around that so if you have read the explanation properly if you have read the table that is associated with that explanation properly you put that into first aid and the first and second prof subjects are done first aid is 7 to 800 pages for the third and fourth prof what you can do you can use revision notes you can use btr as well again do the previous year question add those previous year question and the related explanation and you have your revisable material for those people who are using btr just a word of advice don't solely rely on btr plus previous year question if your goal is a top 2 to 3000 rank if your goal is 5 to 10000 rank yes definitely you can get it with just btr and previous year question but if your goal is bet, uh, you know a top 3000 or 1000 rank maybe a slightly more extensive material especially as far as subjects like pathology pharmacology uh microbiology obs gynae and surgery for these five subjects you need to go a little more in depth if you want that top 1000 rank just btr won't suffice pathology pharmacology microbiology obs gynae and surgery these five subjects i am talking about you need to be a little more in depth need to do a little more than just btr all right so in march and april your only goal should be making concise notes along with the reading of the first reading of the previous year questions so you go do solve previous year question you come back to your notes and you make concise notes this is the only goal in march and april from first march from first march to this first two weeks of march you are going to try to revise these notes at least try to revise first aid at least try to revise the first and second prof because inict is very prof heavy revise the first and second prof and solve questions from previous year questions from reflex reflex has past 10 years inict papers take those inict papers as uh, stand alone gts and after that give inict so your half revision of the first and second prof which is more important for inict is done and you have done gts as well the stand alone papers are gts as well after giving inict take one week break and from 25th may from 25th may to 21st 25th june give one proper revision of these concise notes that you made and then from 25th june to 5th june in the next 10 days do the last 10 day revision and then give the exam you will definitely get a top 1000 rank understood march april march and april you make your concise notes if somebody is already in the process i would ask them to finish that by march end then keep on revising those concise notes again and again in may on the way to inict re revise what revise first and second prof revise first and second prof revise the first and second prof along with past 5 to 7 years papers past 5 to 7 year papers you can use reflex for it you can if you have any app you can use that app for it and then give inict then one month full revision last 10 day revision give the exam you have done three revision you have made your concise notes and that's how you'll crack the exam now you'll be like sir concise notes best banaye kaise how do we use first aid so i'll give you an example for example this these are the marrow notes 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the entire amyloidosis it's an important topic it's an important previous year topic has been covered in six pages 
and this six pages are converted into let let me show you the magic of first aid these six pages are converted into one single page as far as first aid is concerned a single page in first aid this is this is my own first aid it's a example from that so basically first aid has done your hard work you don't need to do you have concise it if you would have solved the previous year question so the how i used to do it so i if amyloidosis was the thing i used to solve the pyqs of amyloidosis all right then i used to go to first aid i used to see that oh most of the things are written if anything was missing i used to add so i added the spleen part here i added the most common cause of death here simple one liners which are asked i added uh, the thioflavin t and s here so these small small things i added rest previous year questions were already being covered by first aid and done so i do did the previous year question i made a fast reading of you know the review books which are equivalent mm -hmm. to your notes came to first aid added it and done for two months i did this for one month i did it with first aid for a next month i gave it to i exactly did this only one month i gave to you know making annotating my first aid this is an annotated first aid and one month i gave to the third and fourth prof i revised in one month then i gave another revision in 10 days and i gave the exam i also had four months and i cracked dine ct like this only i had january february march and april and on may 5th my exam also was there i started from 1st jan in january and february i concised my notes in march i revised them march to april 15th i revised them from april 15th to may i revised them and i did one last revision in last one week that's how i also did it and you can too definitely why can't you this is the magic of first aid that it suddenly cons concises your six pages of notes into one page and uh, apart from first aid for third and fourth prof if you're going to ask i would say that mo since a lot of you probably would be using marrow i would say that you can use the marrow pearls solve the previous year question see what pearls are associated with it get a print out of those as pearls add the previous year questions and the related explanations to it and these can be your self notes if you're still so lazy uh divya made excellent notes and i'll give you a link to you these notes for example these are her pathology notes excellent concise pathology notes her pathology notes are around 150 or 180 pages if i'm not wrong uh so really concise notes and really good written matlab bb kiski after all right so uh really good notes you can use them but a word of advice please don't use them as just pdf use them to make and write your own notes If you feel कि मैं खुद कंसाइज नहीं कर पा रहा I'm not able to get the juice out of the most of the material, then yes, you can use these notes to get the juice out of the material. But please try to make your own notes. All right. Best I will always say is to use first aid, or you can in third and fourth prof you have to make self written notes, or you can use BTR and add PYQs, or you can use rapid revision and add PYQs. So the sim बहुत simple है. March and April में notes और previous year questions की एक कुंजी बनानी है. you have to make those concise notes in march and april in the first half of may you have to revise the first and second prof because that is asked as far as iict is concerned along with solving past five year question papers give iict as a gt koi tension nahi nikal gaya nikal gaya very well good balle balle if it does not then in the next one month from may to june from may to june one revision and then in the last 10 day another revision you already have your concise notes which can be revised and then later in july please give me an interview i would love to take your interview as a topper tell your story to the world tell your you know uh, success to the world uh, all through the youtube i have interviews which have done 2 lakhs in views or 1.5 lakhs in views uh, and uh, they perform actually better than the so called coaching institute uh, interviews simply because those are true interviews those interviews tell the exact story they are not praise for interviews and i would want you to take give me an interview it would be my hearty desire that you give me an interview and tell me that how you cracked it what was your journey all right so simple method march or april mein hum kya karenge concise notes banayenge may ke first half mein hum log first or second prof ko revise karke we'll go to iict and give it as a gt fair point then in the month of june we were going to give one another revision and towards the last 10 day another revision we are going to vomit it out and get the rank that we desire i hope you enjoyed the video thank you and have a nice day